Welcome back to Booked NM with Mrs. Mullen. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Matt De La Pena's series, um, The Living. Now I know this says The Hunted and you're thinking, Miss Mullen, you're losing your mind, but I only have the second book right now. The first book is back at the library, um, but I did read both of them. It's just this summer I got a chance to read this second one. This is a science fiction post-apocalyptic series. Loved it! Now, Matt De La Pena just got the Newbery Award for his children's book. Um, he actually won that last year. It's, well, okay, it's this year, but this is the 2016 Newbery Award. He just won that. Um, most of his books are realistic fiction um, set in um, urban landscapes, but this is science fiction, and I think he did an amazing job with it, and I really think you should check out this series. I will warn you, this series does have adult language in it, so if you are worried about F-bombs, um, if that bothers you, or if your parents wouldn't want you to read a book that had that in there, you might want to avoid this because it is in there. Um, there are hints at adult situations, but they're never um, explicitly stated, so you're safe on that end or not safe if you wanted that because it's hinted at but not yeah anyway um but i was just going to give you that warning and before i go much further spoiler alert in my enthusiasm to tell you about this book i may tell you more than you want to know so if you're worried about that go ahead and click away now this reminds me a little bit of the story that won the lone star award last year called sweet where the people were on the cruise ship and then the virus the viral contagion was introduced at that point um that's similar to this now that one was more horror this one's more science fiction okay so i want you to imagine a world in which companies decide that the best way to make money is to create a virus and then create a cure for it and it basically extort people um for money at the same time the world is going through turmoil and there's been earthquakes and tsunamis and electricity has been wiped out and cities are, you know, thousands and thousands of people have died. Okay. And that's the world that you get into with this story with Shy. And Shy is the main character. Okay. In the book, The Living, Shy is working on a cruise ship. Okay, when the earthquakes and the tsunamis hit, the cruise ship actually topples over and um, all of the passengers have to scramble to life, uh, life rafts in order to survive and not all of them do. The ones that do survive make it to an island and when they get on that island, some of them start falling prey to the virus, to the illness. Um, then they find out there's a lot going on behind the scenes with that and I don't want to give too much away, so I'm not going to say any more with that. But in The Haunted... The survivors from the island are now in life rafts to go back to what's left of California. Now, when they get there, they get in a total post-apocalyptic America. Um, things are just, there's martial law. You're running out of food. You're running out of water. It's a very precarious situation. The only thing that matters is finding the cure to the disease and... Shy knows something about that because of his experiences. And he's the central character to whether the United States is going to come out of this or not. I really, I can't say this enough. I really loved this book. Um, I liked the way that the story was told. I thought it was realistic. I thought it was um, intriguing. And I really liked the characters in this story. Um, this is one I would recommend to anyone that likes science fiction, and especially anyone that likes um, post-apocalyptic stories. Now, you have to read the first one first, The Living, and then grab this one, The Hunted. Um, you're going to love it. I promise you're going to love it. Thanks for tuning in to Booked MM with Mrs. Mullen. This is your daily reminder. Keep reading!